Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Boofwang UV5R, known by certified ham radio operators across the flat globe as one of the best engineered and least expensive ham radios you can buy. And because of that part about it being the least expensive, many people are tempted to purchase one of these as their very first radio in hopes of becoming a member of the Boofwang gang. So in this video, which I promise to keep very short and to the point for all of you with broken attention spans, I will explain to you why the Boofwang UV5R might be or might not be a good choice as your very first radio. Allow me to begin with a few reasons why the Boofwang UV5R might actually be a good choice as your first radio. First of all, the Boofwang UV5R is very cheap. And in this economy, even though I keep being told that the prices and inflation are down, nonetheless, getting the least expensive radio is the only thing that many people care about. So if all you care about is getting something for the least possible number of monies, then one of these is a great choice. If you are a new ham radio operator, or if you just crave chatting with anonymous men, then a Boofwang UV5R is probably a good choice because it is a fairly capable radio, and as mentioned only a moment ago, it does not cost very many monies. If you are a prepper, or if you just want to be prepared for the impending civil war, and you need something that is versatile yet disposable, or maybe you need a whole sack of radios to deploy to your militia, then sure, the UV5R might be a good choice. If you are a tinkerer, a nerd, a dork, a geek, a dweeb, or if you just want a two-way radio to play with, and you are not sure if you want to spend all of the monies for a top-of-the-line Japanese-type radio, then sure, why not get one of these? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that there are many more reasons why one of these would make a good choice as your very first two-way radio. So if I missed any, please feel free to leave a comment below and enlighten us all. And now allow me to share a few reasons why the Boofwang UV5R may not, may not be a good choice as your first radio. If you are just some guy that wants a walkie-talkie to talk with friends, then... No, the Boofwang UV5R would not be a good choice because it can be difficult to use and it is a ham radio. So you're supposed to have a license to talk on it, even if you just want to use it as a walkie-talkie. And pretty much any GMRS or long-range type two-way radio can transmit just as many FARs and do it a lot easier than the UV5R. If you are looking for a cheap walkie-talkie for your kids to play with, then sweet baby Xenu in his crib, no. No. This is not a good choice. If you are looking into the GMRS, then a UV5R, which is a ham radio, not a GMRS radio, is not a good choice. Instead, consider the GMRS version of the UV5R or any of the dozens of other very low-cost GMRS radios. You will know if it is a GMRS radio or not, because the box or the advertisement will say GMRS. If you are a prepper and you crave a radio that you can depend on for your life, then no, no, no. If you desire an unlocked radio, this one is kind of tough because in the past all UV5R radios were unlocked, but these days, the new UV5R radios are locked. Some can be manually unlocked, but some cannot be. And you cannot tell which ones you will be able to unlock or not when you buy them. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a literal crapshoot when you buy one as to whether or not it will be unlockable. So if you require an unlocked radio, then do not buy a UV5R. Just buy a radio that you know is unlocked. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, allow me to point out that just like with the first list, I may have missed some of the reasons why the UV5R is not a very good choice as your first radio. Because I already have a bunch of radios and I do not really care. 
So leave a comment with your reasons why this may not be a good first radio, or if you didn't leave a comment earlier, leave a comment why it might be a good first radio, or whatever. I really don't care.